What's up you guys? Welcome back to Sprinkle Sugar Pop. If you're new, welcome. In today's video, we are going to learn different type of drizzle techniques and why your drizzle is not coming out perfect. So let's get started. Alright guys, so I already went ahead and washed these strawberries with some vegetable soap. I get mine from Trader Joe's. I'll put a picture here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then in today's video, we are going to be using Ghirardelli. Um, this is one of my top three chocolates that I like to use. So this one, you can find it at your local grocery store. Also, I want to show you guys the containers that I love to use to melt my chocolate. You can find these on Amazon. I will be putting the link down below. When you're melting your chocolate, you want to be patient. So what I do is I put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and then I take it out, stir it very well. Mind you, if the bottom of your container is super hot, that that tells you that you need to keep stirring the chocolate until the bottom is cooled or has cooled down. And then you can put it back in the microwave because if the bottom is super hot, and you put your chocolate inside the microwave again then it's going to burn and that's when you're going to have issues with your chocolate so be patient take your time yeah when you're coloring your chocolate or dyeing your chocolate not sure what's the correct way but uh, when you are doing that make sure your coloring is oiled based okay because it just has to be oil based like for example when i first started doing chocolate covered strawberries i one time did gel based and it just ruined my chocolate so please be careful um some good brands to use will be color mill chef master and chameleon i'm not a big fan of chef master that's just me personally i love love color mill but i have heard good things about color mill not not color mill sorry guys um chameleon so yeah just go that route please do not use gel or anything other than oil based food coloring please one thing about Ghirardelli chocolate is that sometimes you might get a batch that gives you a lot of bubbles but it's okay it's fixable um so basically what i like to do is when i dip the strawberry into the chocolate i like to kind of shake it from left to right as i take it out of the chocolate if that makes sense i shake the strawberry um so i can like get rid of those bubbles but again if you have like a few bubbles on your strawberry just pop them with a uh toothpick if you want to be fancy, you can also use this tool. This tool is from the Yummy Like Bake Shop. I am not sure if you guys know, but I am an ambassador. So I have a coupon code for you guys so you guys can save some money at checkout. Alright, let's go ahead and check the temperature just so you guys can see for reference at what temperature I dipped this strawberry by the way you do not need this tool but i mean if you are a beginner and you're like really struggling and you really cannot get the hang of it then maybe buy it but honestly you don't need it unless you're doing other treats like for example i use this tool for my caramel apples but other than that i really don't use it for anything else all right, let's go ahead and do the standard drizzle, the one that goes from left to right. Um, this is very tricky for some of you guys, especially like beginners, um, to get that perfect drizzle. And that has to do a lot with what type of chocolate you're using and how you're handling your little piping bag. Um, like for example, here, I like to have enough chocolate in the bag and also the the hole that you make like with your scissors matters as well like if it's too big you're going to get that thick drizzle and if you do like a very small hole then you will get that thin drizzle so the size matters you guys to get a good perfect drizzle of course it's gonna take some practice you're not going to have like the perfect drizzle if you're barely starting but if you have the right um posture and the right chocolate it will help a lot 
All right, guys, moving on to the loop drizzle. This is one of my favorite designs. It's just so pretty. For this design, you cannot use a very runny chocolate because this design is very delicate. So, yeah, you want your chocolate to be in between, not too thin or not too thick. And then when you're drizzling, you want your chocolate to be fully melted because if there's chunks of chocolate that is not melted inside your bag, it will cause problems. If you're struggling with this design, I highly recommend you to practice on the parchment paper first and then move on to your strawberry. All right, we're gonna do the same design, but this time we're gonna add sprinkles make sure you add your sprinkles while the chocolate is wet like the drizzle the loop drizzle is wet when this happens you have to fix it while the chocolate is wet and you can do it with a toothpick or with this uh, fancy tool all right moving on to the next design i call this the wet design because you have to basically drizzle while your strawberry is wet in order to create this beautiful design you cannot do this if your chocolate is setting it will give you some issues it will not look cute so make sure you do this asap um especially if you're like in uh, a cold room or something like yeah you have to work fast guys moving on to the next design this one is the drizzle with sprinkles so basically you're going to add your sprinkles while your drizzle is wet one thing though that i messed up here i did the drizzle too close to each other like the lines too close to each other and that's not how you're supposed to do it you're supposed to spread them out a little bit more um, because once you add your sprinkles they're gonna be super close to each other if that makes sense look let me show you guys um, there is times where you're able to like fix it with a toothpick like move the sprinkles around but not in this case I did the lines the drizzle too close to each other so yeah I mean it doesn't look bad but if you want more space between the lines then when you're drizzling leave some space so there can be some space after you add the drizzle the sprinkle sorry all right guys so when you're drizzling you want to make sure you're squeezing your bag at all times because if you don't squeeze your bag you will get broken lines for example here squeeze gentle not too hard because if you squeeze too hard you will get some weird ugly looking lines like squiggly looking lines <laughs> like for example here there <laughs> yeah yeah that happens when you're squeezing your bag too hard or your chocolate is setting and you're squeezing hard to get chocolate out of the bag so that's why it's very important that when you're drizzling, your chocolate is fully melted and is at a good consistency because this can also happen if your chocolate is way too thick. For example, some good chocolate that you can use for your drizzles will be Gardelli, Stover's brand chocolate, um, Target. Target carries chocolate as well. Their brand, um, I think is Good and Gather brand. Um, what else? Michael's is not that bad. Um, the Tooth Fairy is not that bad. The consistency is good for drizzle. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much the chocolates that I recommend for drizzling. Moving on, we are comparing the two strawberry textures here. For example, the one that I just put down, you're able to see the strawberry, um, texture and then this one you don't see any strawberry texture like the skin um so basically this one we did get a good full like coverage and the other one the chocolate must have been a little bit on the runny side so that's why the layer of chocolate is not too thick um that you're able to see the strawberry texture <laughs> i hope that makes sense the texture or skin oh my gosh 
like here you see the strawberry bumps so yeah that tells you that your chocolate um like the layer's not too thick so yeah that's something to know you know another good thing to know is let's say your chocolate is still warm but the tip is cold like it's hard uh, what you can do is just massage it around and it will melt back again Another reason why your drizzle is not coming out perfect is because maybe you're drizzling way too far from the strawberry that is causing you to have these type of drizzles, which are not cute. See the difference? Now I'm drizzling closer to the strawberry so the lines are more straight. Alright, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Please, if you guys can do me a favor, leave some video suggestions. Or please let me know what you're struggling with, what we like to learn. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you learned something new. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.